Hello guys! Today's video is quite exciting because I will share with you my thoughts on a very popular niche perfume from the brand Maison Francois Cordijon and you know that um, French pronunciation from my mouth is not the best so I definitely recommend to check out the description box down below where I will leave all the important information about this perfume that is called Baccarat Rouge 540 and I ordered a sample from the official website of this brand just to see for myself if it is really that special as a lot of people say because uh, there is so much raving about it and I just decided to check out if it is overpriced, overrated, overhyped or not. So when I first ordered this perfume and sprayed it, I was quite surprised because it was not what I expected it to be at all. When I look into the notes, which are jasmine and saffron in the opening, ambergris and amber wood um, in the middle and fir and cedar wood in the base, I expect something with a white floral opening, an emalic, uh, sensual, salty development and woody dry down. But that is not what Baccarat Rouge is about, at least to me. So the opening is very sweet and it is intense right in your face. And there is a powdery element in there and normally I'm a powdery lover. But there is something about this particular powderiness that I'm not the fan of. To me, it smells quite gothic, and normally I associate gothic theme with dark colors and um, incense, smoke, and it is gothic, but in a sweet way, which is so strange. And then there is also something medicinal about it, and I hate medicinal aspects in the perfume, so for me that was just a no-go, but the trick is that it is so long-lasting that you just can't really wash it off and then it is gone. No, it has such a nuclear longevity, it is so intense that it will stay with you forever. I am not kidding. It projects so intensely that it is just a stunner performer and it is great for those people who like it, but for those who can't stand its scent, it can be very, very annoying. So I would recommend for those who enjoy Baccarat Rouge not to overspray it because it is intense on its own and if you overdo it, it will be just super unpleasant. Just make one or two spritzes and you're good to go unless um, you want that people will notice your perfume miles away. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, my personal opinion about it. But I found really interesting what my mom told me because as we were on the balcony she told me to take a distance because uh, it gives her a headache and it is just too much. And I agree, especially for the summertime, which is warm, this is not a work or day friendly scent. I actually sprayed it at work because I wanted to give it another chance and I can still smell it so intensely and it annoys me very much. For me, it is the same fragrance from that Alien and um, Angelique, if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, if you've seen some of my previous videos in which I've reviewed those fragrances, you would know that I just can't stand them physically and I know that in Alien there is also a lot of jasmine but for some reason this jasmine in Baccarat Rouge and in Alien it smells a little bit similar but it smells so unnatural and I normally enjoy high quality jasmine scents because when you smell jasmine absolute it smells so good and you can definitely identify the quality in the perfume so in here I would say that that is maybe a love or maybe a hate there is nothing in between you just can't be like oh it's all right you're like oh my god yes it is the best stuff on this planet like with alien or oh my god this is the worst thing that i've ever smelled for me it's probably the second option but uh, you know i just wanted to share with you my thoughts on it i can understand why people love it so much and why it is so overhyped i still think it is a little bit overhyped but uh, for me this is a pass which is a good thing because it is quite pricey and in my opinion it is not very overpriced because it has wonderful performance especially in the winter maybe when you're going out and it is really cold you want something warm and sweet that's a nice 
fragrance to go for and uh, it is also for some very special occasion and it smells quite luxurious too it just doesn't work for me and actually I have another fragrance in my collection that it reminds me of so badly and that is Stromonio by Quinto Canto and as you can tell I have a bottle of it and they actually look a little bit similar you know like red and golden design and I first liked Stromonio very much there was that powderiness of orchid or something that attracted me but then I wore it in public and it was just too much that is just not my style and not my thing but I would like to know from you do you like this overly feminine dominant scent how it smells to you I'd love to hear from you maybe you like it maybe you hate it maybe you don't care just let me know your feedback in the comments below and if you would like to see some videos from me in which I review other fragrances from this brand check out the description box like this video if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for tuning in and stay tuned smell good and we'll see each other next one really soon bye guys